In this video from IT Free Training, I will look at laptop memory. Laptop memory is essentially like desktop memory, except it is of smaller size. There are also a few other differences that you should be aware of. To start with, let's compare laptop memory with desktop memory. You can see that the memory is about half the size of desktop memory. The memory is made smaller due to the limited space in laptops. I will refer to this memory as laptop memory. However, it can be used in other devices. You may also find it in smaller devices such as network storage devices. Although I will refer to it as laptop memory, keep in mind you may see it pop up in other devices from time to time. Although the memory modules are about half the size of desktop memory, in many cases they have about the same number of pins. So the first question is, how does performance differ between the two? Laptop memory is called SODIM, which stands for Small Outline Dual Inline Memory Module. Like DDR memory, it may contain memory chips on one or both sides. Since it is essentially a smaller version of desktop memory, it uses a 64-bit bus just like desktop memory. This essentially makes it easier as memory controllers do not need to be redesigned to use a different bus size. Depending on which device the memory is being installed in, it may support dual channel. Dual channel is when two memory modules work together rather than independently of each other. This has been commonly used in desktop computers since the early days of computers. So essentially, every desktop computer should have it, but a laptop may not. Depending on your device, it may or may not support it. However, most laptops should support it. In order to use it, the device needs to have two slots of SODIM memory installed. To get it to work, both memory modules should be the same, or at least pretty close. At the minimum, they need to be the same sizes. If they are at different speeds, hopefully the hardware will run them at a slower speed to prevent problems. However, this also means that one of the memory modules is performing slower than it should be. Generally speaking, the max memory of SODIM will be smaller than the DDR equivalent. That makes sense since they are smaller in size. However, nowadays the largest SODIM are very large. For example, it is possible to get a SODIM DDR4 memory module that is 16 gigabytes in size. SODIM generally have slower transfer rates, and while the bus width is the same, some SODIM can have very high clock rates. So it really depends on which one you buy. DDR memory modules will generally have 8 chips on either side for a total of 16. These all work together. A SODIM may have a lot less. Less chips generally means a slower transfer rate, since you don't have as many chips working together. Now that we understand laptop memory a bit better, I will now have a look at how to remove and install the memory into a laptop. In this demonstration, I have a laptop that already has memory installed. I will remove the memory from the laptop to show how this is done and then reinstall it. Most laptops will have a panel that can be removed in order to get to the memory. This may not be the case in all laptops and you may need to take the laptop apart to get to the memory. There may be a few different panels on the back, so look for any marking on the laptop to give you an indication what is behind the panel. In the case of this laptop, there is a small memory module icon to indicate which screws need to be removed. If you can't locate it, refer to the manual, or you could use trial and error until you find the right panel. Once you loosen the screw, sometimes the panel will still be in place. You can see in the case of this laptop, there is a small recess. This can be used to lever the panel open with a flathead screwdriver. We can now see the memory module in the slot in the laptop. On either side of the memory module, there will be some clips holding it in place. This is just a matter of using your finger to release them. The slot is spring-loaded, so hopefully, once the clips are released, the memory module will pop up to a 45-degree angle. If you have problems, you can use your flathead screwdriver, but if you do this, be careful not to use too much force. You want to use just enough force so the memory module pops up. Once the memory module pops up, it is just a simple matter of removing the memory module by holding it by the sides. You can see in this particular memory module, it has eight chips on either side. So effectively, this has the same number of chips as a DDR memory module has. 
they are just in a smaller size. The performance you can expect will depend on the specifications of the memory module, which is often directly related to how much you pay for it. To install the memory module, it is a matter of first placing it in the slot at a 45 degree angle. Once in place, push down on the corners until the memory module snaps into place. Once the memory module is in, put the cover back on and screw it into place. Sometimes the cover may not go back on completely flush. If this occurs, push down on the corners and hopefully it will click into place. If it does not, you may need to remove the cover and put it back on again. SODIM will not be able to be installed in a DDR slot due to the size difference. However, there are adapters on the market that are available which allow SODIM to be installed in a DDR slot. In the case of a laptop, an upgrade may mean having to replace the memory module due to there only being one slot, meaning the old memory module cannot be used. If you want to get a bit more use of the memory module, you can purchase one of these adapters so the memory module can be used in a desktop. These adapters can be a little bit of hit and miss. In some cases, they work great. In other cases, the computer may not even start up. Unfortunately, it is not a sure thing, but sometime you can try it if you wish. That concludes this video from IT Free Training on laptop memory. I hope you found it informative. Until the next video from us, I would like to thank you for watching.